currently the commanding officer at HT-8 here at Training Wing Air Wing 5. Here in the HTs, we train all Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard students to include our international allies, and we train them from the very first helicopter flight to their wings. So a lot of that training is gonna be the foundational portions where they're learning about aerodynamics, the ground school, and then we get them into the aircraft. We're gonna teach them how to hover and then how to maneuver that aircraft. Here at Training Air Wing 5, we have Northfield and Southfield. Northfield is comprised of three primary squadrons where they fly the T-6, and Southfield is three helicopter training squadrons where they fly either the TH-57 or now the TH-73. The scope of that training here in Southfield, between all three squadrons, on average every month, we're conducting 2,645 student events and that is going to equate to about 5,600 hours a month here. We end up being one of the busiest airports in the nation um, because we have so many takeoff and landings here with all of the sorties that we conduct. The most exciting part is the introduction of the TH-73. This project has been years in the making. We have had so many people over the last five, really seven years who have helped from the infancy of figuring out what the replacement to the TH-57 was going to be to actually come into fruition with the TH-73. HT-8 was the first helicopter squadron selected to transition to the 73. So with the help of our fleet introductory team, we have now incorporated the student syllabus. We're converting our instructor IPs from the 57 to learn how to fly the TH-73 and we have students actually operating in the syllabus. There's three different lots and we're building to a total of 130 aircraft here at South Whiting. The TH-73, we're incredibly excited to bring that online with our student training. The biggest difference between the two is that it has a glass cockpit. So the capability for the students to leave the T-6 and have a glass cockpit scan and that exposure and now they're coming to the TH-73 and a lot of that is translating and they're picking that scan up a lot faster, which saves us time in training and is a, a huge benefit to our program. This is in enhanced attitude indicator mode and this is what we start our students in in basic. So a little bit less distractions on it, but this is an incredibly capable system. It's fantastic for the instructors so they can keep track and an eye on uh, both traffic and obstructions while flying around. Fully configurable, I can put the HSI up top, I can put a navigation log if I put um, a flight plan in the system, I can show a full traffic page, uh, data link is the radar, uh, hover page if you're doing low work, nearest airport diagram, this is going to show our home field as a part of the database, which as you can see also has a moving map on it. Um, your full engine page, and then you can do half engine so you can uh, select essentially what you want on the other half screen. In addition, the 73 has a lot more power. Um, it gives us the ability to do a few extra maneuvers. It has four rotor blades compared to our previous two, and having those four rotor blades, it's a fully articulated rotor head, which is a lot more reflective of what their fleet aircraft are gonna be. So it will help make that transition um, to whatever their fleet aircraft is gonna be a little bit smoother because they would have already had some of that exposure. Yeah.